What is happening, you guys? Welcome back to Let's Go Win Podcast. You are here for a Tuesday tune-up. I'm J.M. Ryerson. And before I get into my subject, uh, the main thing I wanted to ask you guys is to continue to support the show by sharing it, uh, subscri subscribe, review. We have a goal of 2,500 reviews. I think we're about 10% of the way there. So to those of you that, that have supported that goal, thank you so much. Uh, that definitely helps with visibility. That helps with continuing to get great guests on the show. And uh, so many good things come from that. So if you see value in what we're doing, please, please uh, hit that sub subscribe and review button and just uh, let us know your thoughts. So I had a guest scheduled, uh, but this one's on me. I, I own this one. I was unable to do it until uh, about 30 minutes late. So I had to reschedule with that guest. And I thought, what am I going to talk about today? What's the most value that I can bring to the audience? And the biggest thing on my mind right now is your actions matter. So I had an amazing experience the other day. I was having kind of a tough day um, thinking about my dad and just how this last year had gone. And there's been some challenges, right? And my son, whether he knew it or not, absolutely made my day. And he made my day at about 6 a.m. So Trey, my youngest, uh, he, he doesn't love the mornings. If any of you have teenagers, he's 13. And it's not like the mornings are awesome for him at 6 a.m. But uh, he came down refreshed and you could see he was just fired up. And I said, hey, Trey, man, how's it going? He said, dad. I got a new routine and he said the word routine, which by the way, just made me smile. And I said, Oh yeah, what's that? He goes, well, the first thing I do is I, I take a cold shower and then I meditate a little bit and then I come downstairs and I, I just, it made me pause because he's heard me talk about this stuff for a long time, but it's not like he listens to the show. It's not like he's even read the book, which yes, I wrote the book for, uh, he's one of the people I wrote it for and he has not read it yet, but it's the action. So when I asked him why, why meditate? He's like, well, because you, you do it on a daily basis. You, you tell us how important it is, but I see you do it. And not that he sees me take the cold showers. Obviously that's, uh, he's heard me, uh, talk about the cold showers and the benefits but it just got me to thinking about when, when you're in a business setting or in your family setting, it's not so much the words that you use. Um, like the, the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. That's what your actions are. So if you're not congruent in what you say, if you're saying one thing and doing the other, they're seeing that. And that was so evident because I cannot tell you how many times, and I'm talking to you guys right here, that I have asked Trey to meditate with me. I've said, hey, I'll do it with you. And he just was not into it, but yet he chose to do it on his own. So, you know, the saying, when the student's ready, the teacher appears, Trey just wasn't ready for it until apparently 13 years old that he decided, I'm going to, I'm going to take these cold showers. I'm going to do this meditation. I'm going to do these things on my own. Not because my dad said to, because he's modeling after the behavior that he sees. And it just made me think about how are we showing up uh, as a leader? How are we showing up as, you know, a spouse, as a, as a friend is the, the behavior that we're showing matching up with, um, the words, or maybe that should be opposite, are the words that I'm stating matching up with my behaviors? Because it's really the behaviors that it, if you can match those two, it becomes that much more powerful. And so to have a day start the way it did, and I, I again, just kind of woke up on the wrong, wrong side of the bed. I was just kind of down in the dumps. He 100% just turned my day upside down all because of some of the behaviors that have been modeled for him. And then I start to think about how strong this kid's going to be from a mindset standpoint, if he's doing these things at 13, how amazing is that? I wish 
that I had really, you know, dove into this work earlier, but gosh, he's 20 years ahead of me by doing some of these behaviors, doing, doing the meditation and all the benefits that come with it. He's 20 years ahead of, of, of really where I've been in terms of consistently doing it. And so I think about your kids in the same way as what can you model for them so that they can be better, do better than you as a parent? What can you model for the people that you work with so they can do better and be better than, than we are? Because ultimately that's our responsibility as leaders is not to tell people what to do, but rather model the behavior and, and eventually it will catch on. It's, it, and it won't be on the time frame that you probably want. That's, that's the other hard part, right? I want Trey to do this a long time ago. But eventually it did catch up and he decided he was going to do it for him. So I just want to share that victory, you guys. I thought it was powerful. Um, it made me so excited that he was choosing it on his own. It wasn't something that I was requiring. Um, he made that decision to do it and it just made me smile. So the, the we're going to keep this pretty brief today. Your actions, your behaviors, the what you model really do matter. Your words matter as well. Don't get me wrong, but the way you behave, they see that far more than the words that come out of your mouth. So uh, pretty profound lesson for me. I want to thank my 13 year old for literally putting a smile on my face that day. And uh, to those of you that hopefully you have kids or, or the people you work with, hopefully this helps you as well, because it is the behavior that's ultimately the model that, uh, that, that people are going to follow. So, all right, you guys, until next time, uh, please, uh, like I said, share, subscribe, review, and, uh, remember your mindset matters. I appreciate you all. And we will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening. If this content is delivering value to you, please make sure to subscribe, rate, and review us. That helps us build this community. And that is what we are all about. Building this community as big as we can, helping as many people as we can, and deliver as much value as possible. Be sure to head over to letsgowinpodcast.com for information on my coaching courses, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Let's Go Win 365. Let's go win and transcend in life. This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson.